it's time to break down the fight heard around the world. You've seen the video, but nobody has pointed out the very particular details you gotta see. Backstory, you had a bunch of ignorant people on boats who jumped a security guard, the man in the white shirt, but enough talk. Let's get to the what you need to see. I don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets. Uh -uh. I don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Run up on that nigga, get the squeezing hoes, squeezing hoes. Everybody catch them bullet hoes, bullet hoes. Niggas got me on my bully, yo. I don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets. Uh -uh. Don't nothing fold about me. I fold motherfuckers up. That guy in the white shirt is crew from our little dinner cruise, though. We got off our ship to go over there to move that black pontoon boat on his own because those guys who parked there were told not to leave it there and they left it there. So he's just pushing it off. That's funny. Took matters into his own hands. I love it. How am I late to this party? How am I? All they had to do was move their boat. I hope the police give him a big old ticket. Ooh, confrontation with the owner of the boat. Wow. All they had to do was move your boat. It's a nice pontoon boat, beautiful, but you fucked around and you found out the hard way. <laughs> As a person who was there when this first popped off, there's background information that I have to tell you guys. These white people chose the worst time and place to jump a black man. This happened at Montgomery's Riverfront at the tail end of a back to school event that MPS was putting on in one of the few cities in America that are predominantly black. So they beat up a black man in front of anywhere from 100 to 300 mid income to low income black people who are already irritated because they've been in the sun their kids been dragging them around all day there ain't no parking so they know they got to walk like three more blocks to get to their car and now they have an outlet to release their anger i don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets uh -uh. i don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets Come. <laughs> confrontation with the owner of the boat. You know, sometimes black people laugh at shit. We ain't got no motherfucking business laughing at He got punched and threw up his motherfucking hat like Bobby Schmurder. Never seen no shit like this in my motherfucking life. Okay, they jumped him. See, the minute that 
dude with the mullet and the long hair attacked that worker, that brother. It was on. But pay close attention to this. Pay close attention to this. He lets you know he's ready by throwing the hat in the air. I gotta run it back. I gotta run it back. I have to run it back. Watch him throw the hat in the air. It is a signal for what you will see later. Look at it. Burn up on that nigga. Bobby Smurdy's hat. This shit happened in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, all our motherfucking brawl over some motherfucker didn't want to move a boat. He's holding his own, but pay close attention to what you're going to see in the water. They say black people can't swim. Look at this son of a bitch down there, swimming like a motherfucker. It is not Aquaman. From what I have been told, he goes by Jermichael Phelps. I can't confirm this, but they tell me he goes by Jermichael Phelps, J. Mike for short. He's going to swim 50 meters roughly across to the dock. This shit was great. I can't show you nothing violent. This TikTok. I wish I could show you the whole motherfucking video. Y'all gotta see this shit. I can't believe this motherfucking shit. Motherfucking crazy. But pay close attention to what happens when he gets to the dock. When he gets to the dock, my guy does a full tricep extension in the weight room. It's known as a muscle up. He does a full tricep extension, gets onto the dock, and he instantly takes off the shoes because he's ready to throw these hands. He's ready to throw these hands. Niggas in trouble. Niggas in trouble. Niggas in trouble. Niggas in trouble. You see how they were skipping? <laughs> Yo, just a word of advice, man. When there's a confrontation and you see black people skipping towards you. The world, listen to me. When you see a bunch of brothers skip to you, not walk, skip after witnessing something, it's on like hot butter popcorn. Yo, they're not coming in peace. They don't come in to handle business. He's ready to throw these hands, but now... I gotta come to this. Now they're ready. What's up? Your ass is about to get handled. What's up? See, remember when he threw the hat? Remember I told y'all, when he threw the hat, it was something like a bat signal, letting everybody know, dun dun dun, dun help is needed. And boy, help was on the way. Help was on the way. See, now it's bunches. Boom. Woo! Wait, I gotta turn the volume up because y'all missed that smack. Hold on, running that back. Y'all gotta listen. Listen closely, y'all. Left hook. Left hook. Okay, boom. You missed that smack. Now you got it. Now it's on. What's up? You fucked up so bad, the police watched you get your ass whooped. Y'all fucked around and found out the hard way. They sad. Look at them. They sad. Woo! Beat their ass. Woo! Oh, my God. Woo! That what you get. That what you get. Now, I'm Lou here, former bouncer and head of security in West Virginia, and I have to speak on this Montgomery, Alabama situation where uh, one black man, a security guard, harassed and beat up a bunch of white people and they was just boating they was just doing what they're allowed to do they <laughs> y'all know i'm fucking with you if you're a white person and you saw that brawl thing happen and you defend the white people in any way shape or form you're racist simple as that and if you're looking at all these videos of black people celebrating what happened and tiktok social media in general and you think that they shouldn't be doing that you're dumb and probably racist why? Because for hundreds of years, white people have suppressed, subjugated, oppressed, murdered black people. Large groups of white people have harassed and attacked black people for hundreds of years in America. Turnabout's fair play, y'all. That what you get? Oh, tie ass up. Oh, she whooping her ass up. She better put her in the that woman in white got her ass whipped and dipped into that water. In the water. In the water. Here is 
what is most missed in all of this video. Watch the woman in the white shirt. Woman in the white shirt, she better go bye bye. She better go into the water. Woo. Say bye bye. So now the woman in the white shirt's in the water. That's not the interesting part. Interesting part is she can't get out. Take your eyes here. She cannot get out. Remember, old dude did a muscle up. She ain't got no muscles to up. So now she's stuck in the water. Look at her. But there is one good Samaritan. Security guard. He makes sure he maintains his civil duties to help her up. He ain't gonna give her no eye contact though. He's just like, take my arm. Take my arm. I ain't giving you no eye contact. Take my arm. So now she's up out the water. Those white people fucked up and they tried to get out of it and they were scared. And that's what happens. The lady got thrown in the water. That motherfucker came in like Roman Reigns and was smacking people with the chair. It was a good time, man. But I guarantee those people in Alabama, they won't do it again. They won't jump another black man again. They'll think twice. That's what they get. Hi, mom. Say his ass up. Cause y'all were wrong. Being from Alabama, I'm gonna weigh in on this Montgomery boat brawl situation. I see everybody talking about all them white dudes who've been out in the bass boat all day and listen to that Jason Aldean song, Small Town, and came back and swung on that old black gentleman and got their ass whooped. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And they probably didn't get all they deserved, but they wasn't out on that river listening to no Jason Aldean. They was out there listening to some Luke Combs, some Luke Bryan, some of that old sissy music. And black folks is the one that had been listening to Jason Aldean in a small town because whenever they came back and swung on that old black man, then black folks from Montgomery showed out. And that boy that swam across that river and got out and was swinging like a hooter thunking and connecting, the only one thing that would have been different, I'd have been swimming right behind him and I'd have been swinging on them white boys just as hard. But that song had been listened to, it just hadn't been listened to by who you think. <laughs> Hands are being thrown, hands are being thrown, but the most notable character in all of this was not actually a human. It was an object. I saw somebody remind me of WWE picked up a, a chair and slamming people on their head. Because the individual here has now brought in the chair. Oh my God. Get him right in the chair. Smack. Smack one now. Smack another dude. But look, the dude gets smacked by the chair. It doesn't even phase him. Oh, my God. Hold on. When he smacked her in the chair, now he gets arrested. But he, he don't even fight it. He's like, you know what? You got me. Homeboy picked me up, and we just started doing charity. We donating ass whoopers to anybody who needed it. Everybody who ran up, have a seat. Motherfucker ran up, have a seat. Everybody run up, have a fucking seat, bitch. Y'all, when that man hit that woman in the head with the chair, <laughs> it looked like he was playing a game of whack-a-mole. That shit was crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. And I've seen a lot. And I watched the whole video, like the whole thing. Between the skipping, the Crocs, not going in sport mode, girl being thrown in the river, and dude being at Malibu Jacks playing whack-a-mole. Y'all, top 10. Top 10 video ever. And needless to say, that's what you fucking get. You fucked around and you found out. I fold motherfuckers up. Oh my God! Oh my God! He going to jail. I'm sorry, they can't get him a felony. That woman got hit in the face with a chair because she thought that she had the privilege to be able to enter a brawl and not get hit in the face with a chair. 
you thought that it was wrong that that white woman got hit in the face with a chair because you are privileged enough to believe that a white woman should be able to enter a brawl and not get hit in the face with a chair. Next time somebody says white privilege and you want to clutch your pearls and say, I don't have any white privilege, just remember that when a white woman who entered a brawl got hit in the face with a chair in that brawl, you thought that she shouldn't have been hit in the face with a chair as part of a brawl because she was a white woman. There you go. Enjoy. That's right. Get them now. Get them now. Oh, don't resist now. Go on, get them. Get the wife too. Get, get both of them now. Uh -huh, get both of them. Go uh -huh, Get the wife too. Go on, Get her too. Go on, Get her too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go on, Get her too. Go on, get, get her too. Mm -hmm. Get everybody. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing none of this right here. None of One of my niggas bring two niggas. Then two niggas go get three. <laughs> two niggas bring four niggas. Then four niggas come back you and alert me. You ain't even got raps to even back it up. See me when I come in, I know what's up. Two niggas bring three niggas. Then three niggas bring four. Four niggas bring five niggas and five niggas bring more. <laughs> One of my niggas bring two niggas. Then two niggas go get three. <laughs> two niggas bring four niggas. Then four done. niggas come back and alert me. <laughs> two niggas bring three niggas. Then three niggas bring four. Four niggas bring five niggas and five niggas bring more. But on some real shit, they lucky my cousin went in there. It could have went real different because, you know, he armed. Oh God, bro, I'd be ready to spin, bro. And he don't play. He made from the same leather Black Air Force Ones made from. I was in the office when it was going down, but, bro, you, hey, my cousin know I'm with the sits. This real with us, bro. We come from this. My granddaddy was in the sit-ins. Yeah. Shit, my grandma was the damn seat Rosa Parks ain't want to get up from. Don't think because we chairs, we don't stand on business. We ain't no reserved seats, bro. We in your face with it. We sturdy over here. Oh, and that bitch that caught my bro lacking at the Waffle House? Don't think we forgot about you. We on your ass. And under it. Bro, what? what? I mean, because you, you got to sit in chairs. I'm pretty sure she sit down yeah, every bro, day. Yeah, bro, this not the time. look it up the folding chair was invented by african-american so he probably said oh y'all gonna need this pick this up but again i don't condone violence i'm gonna have to call you back yeah? what in carnation the suspects Thus far, have been identified as Richard Roberts, white male, 48 years old, with two outstanding warrants for assault, third degree. Alan Todd, white male, 23 years old, one warrant for assault, third degree. And Zachary Shipman, white male, 25 years old, uh, one warrant for assault, third degree. We have instructed those individuals to turn themselves into law enforcement, and as uh, at this time, uh, one is secured and in custody, the other two are set to turn themselves in within the next hour. We are also asking for Mr. Reggie Gray, the black male, 42 years old, who was seen wielding that folding chair, to contact the Montgomery Police Department for further interviews 
and as part of this investigation. I fold motherfuckers up. The world has seen this, and it is atrocious. All they had to do was move their boat.